Welcome to the chapter on asset management for small island developing states. My name is Asela Patirana. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to describe water infrastructure asset management, identify specific challenges for small island developing states, and propose best practices to ensure the sustainability of their infrastructure investments. We will use the terms like infrastructure asset management or IAM and water infrastructure asset management interchangeably. Water infrastructure asset management focuses specifically on water infrastructure within the borders of IAM framework. First, let us agree why water infrastructure asset management is needed. Why we think it is uh, particularly needed for small island developing states. Let me share with you a personal experience. Some years back, the Maldivian government built this new desalination based water supply system in one of the inhabited islands of the country. It was an expensive system, implemented with the goal of providing piped water to all the inhabitants of the island. I was on the island for the commissioning of this new water supply system. While taking a stroll around the island, I noticed a dilapidated looking shed. Curious, I asked if I could look inside. What I saw inside was this, a desalination based water treatment system. It was a part of the support received in the aftermath of the 2004 December tsunami disaster. So this was installed somewhere in 2006 and it is just 15 years old uh, by the time I saw it. But it was in a completely broken state. I am sure you have seen many examples like this. Infrastructure provided with good intention of delivering essential services, but facing an untimely end of life with very short or sometimes no service period. Consequently, we need to invest again. Huge amounts of funds are wasted globally in this vicious cycle, often called the build neglect rebuild cycle. We need a different, more sustainable approach to providing and supporting water infrastructure. This is where asset management comes in. In many cases, there is an excessive focus on the building aspect of infrastructure, neglecting the long-term operations and maintenance. Often, these structures are not designed with ONM in mind, leaving the solutions that aren't suitable for a specific context. This is particularly important for small island developing states. There is often a lack of clear ownership and lines of responsibility, including incentives, capabilities, and resources necessary for sustainable infrastructure management and proper operation uh, maintenance and renewal planning. Asset management is useful as a framework to overcome these issues. What is asset management? Infrastructure asset management involves making the best use of limited resources to minimize risk. It is not a replacement for engineering and technology, but it complements them. The international standard for asset management is ISO 55000. According to the standard, infrastructure asset management is the coordinated activity of an organization to realize value from its assets, ensuring optimal resource use for sustainable service delivery. We use a bit of an expanded definition, and that definition is given below. Um, 
you can stop the video here and read it yourself. What are the important keywords that contain in that definition? They include sustainability, optimal use of resources, rational decision making, and mainstreaming asset management into organizational practices. The ISO 55000 series provides a comprehensive framework for asset management covering fundamentals, the system requirements, and application guidelines. ISO 55000 outlines key principles and termin uh, terminology. ISO 55001 details system requirements and 55002 offers guidelines for implementation risk management and continuous improvement practices. It is important to remember that ISO standards are very general documents providing guidance covering a very broad range of organizations. They would not provide specific guidance on water infrastructure asset management. How to do asset management? Typically, we ask six important questions when practicing asset management. These can be categorized into two classes. First, operation and maintenance and renewal related questions or operational issues. This involves understanding what assets you have, their condition, their importance for the function of the overall system and prioritizing maintenance. Then we have strategic planning considerations. This includes anticipating future needs and creating financing or more general resourcing those future changes. Common tools in asset management includes asset inventories. This is a central database of details of asset components in the infrastructure system. For example, a flood management system, this would include different dikes, dams, pumping stations, pipes, canals, gates, etc. Risk-based approaches like uh, risk matrix, source pathway, receptor models, bow tie analysis are commonly used to prioritize resource allocation. For example, in operation maintenance and renewal planning. Specialized condition assessment methods and failure prediction models are sometimes used. In the case of water infrastructure, we often use hydraulic and other models to run scenarios to understand, for example, consequences of different failure modes and failure situations. The rest of this chapter is based on self-study. Follow the instructions and finish them. See you on the other side to wrap things up. Thank you.